Hi crafty friends, Crystal here again today and I'm actually sitting outside. How lovely it is. Um, I'm wanting to film a little um, like pen pal mail share. I don't have too many things here. Um, but anyways, like my craft room is still in disarray and like many things, maybe I'll give like a small life update, but um, I don't know. I had this like realization that like, um, I have a picnic table outside and it's a nice day. It's actually quite late in the evening right now. It's like almost six o'clock. So I do have to be kind of fast because the sun will be going down, but I was like, um, wait a minute. It's a beautiful day. I have a table outside. <laughs> what am I doing? So here we are. Um, yeah, the craft room is like next on my list of like things to do or, well, I don't know about next. Cause I'm like slowly going through the house and like <sighs> reorganizing and like tidying because quite frankly, like this year has just been insane and it's been insane for like everybody and a lot of people. I'll just give like a quick brief type of like life update, I suppose, or like where I'm at in my life right now. Um, if you don't want to sit through this, maybe I'll leave a timestamp below. Um, but yeah, like, ooh, like personal life has been great. Truly. Like I just got married. Hello. And so like, that's obviously been great, but work has been super insane, bad. And, ugh. The way that I describe it is that my inbox has just been constantly overflowing. And I don't mean like my inbox of happy mail. I mean like my inbox in my head, like of life, of just things that I have to do, both like mentally things that I just need to take care of or like household things that I need to take care of, like just everything. Um, and it really did start like at the beginning of the year. Cause like I kicked off the year with getting COVID and moving house. And so that's also part of it where like, I haven't really had a chance to like settle into this house and this space. So I'm really trying to like take the time to do that now. And, um, anyways, and it's kind of at the point now where like these past summer months, everything has just been so crazy that like, I feel like I'm not the only person that the house is like the first thing to go. Do you know what I mean? It's kind of like when you get depressed, like the first thing to go is, is like taking care of yourself. It's not that I'm depressed, but it's kind of like, you know what I mean? Like when things get crazy, like the first thing to go is like taking care of the household, um, or like keeping it clean and tidy. Um, so kind of like, yeah, that was the first thing that went where it's like things really did just start piling up. And so I'm like trying to kind of like room by room <sighs> reorganize and let out all the, <sighs> oh, I look over and I see a bird eating out of the bird feeder. That's fucking lovely. Maybe I should film outside more often. Um, seriously, if it's like an unboxing or something, why not? I don't think I could film like crafty videos out here. Cause obviously my shit is not out here, but like an unboxing, why the hell not? Um, so anyways, I will get to the craft room eventually. Um, but I like, I haven't gotten there yet because it's truly overwhelming. That's what it is. It's kind of like, you know what I mean? Like the inbox has gotten, the inbox of my life has just gotten a little bit overwhelming and it's like, let's cool it down a little bit. Um, that's where we're at. Cool. Okay, let's start with this mail. And that's also why there haven't been, well, also I got married and like was on a honeymoon and I'm having like terrible, terrible, terrible migraines. <sighs> Cause I got sick again. I think I did tell you guys that I got sick again, like right before the wedding and like, oh my Lord, I'm like, have not recovered well from that. Um, my migraines have been really, really, really bad. And I just like, haven't had as much creative energy, um, in general. And, but also I feel like having kind of like a messy space and like having this full inbox of things that kind of need to get done and sorted is like a kind of a creative energy block, if you will. And so it's like, let's sort all that out so that we can get back to being creative. <sighs> so first things first, I believe this is 
a floral. I mean, these are not flowers. These are bows I can see, but I think this is a floral swap from the Happy Mailers group. Um, I do have one other thing here. Oh my gosh. Another thing I got a, I got a new phone and it's, um, I have my water bottle sitting on my like tripod kind of thing because my new phone is like heavier. And so I kind of need like a counterweight. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's fun. Anyways, I do love having the new phone and like maybe tell me if like the video looks nicer. I don't know. I don't even want to undo this bow because it's so pretty. Okay. Well, happy nail. Oh my gosh. And you know what? I don't have the envelope that this came in. Um, so I can't even tell you who it's from. Oh Lord. We'll, we'll, we'll see when we open it. Oh my goodness. Beautiful pink tissue paper. Pink is my favorite color or like one of my favorites. How do we even pick a favorite? Oh, this is so pretty. Oh my gosh. Look at all this beautiful detail, the stitching. Oh my goodness. And a beautiful packet of tea, maple syrup and pecan. Oh, this is gorgeous. Oh my goodness. The attention to detail. There's a magnet in there. Love that. Oh my God, this is incredible. Look at this die cut butterfly. And she, oh my God, she like tore this and then stitched and distressed. Oh my gosh, this is such a special piece of nail. Holy shit, what? Oh, those were supposed to be taped down, I think. Oh my God, still so beautiful, what? Okay, well, because it's not taped down, I'm gonna go ahead and like bring it up and show you. Look at the beauty, like it could just fly away. Look at that, oh my gosh. A piece of vellum over the top of a piece of paper, over the top of two other pieces of paper, with some stitching in the middle, with some beautiful little jemmies. This is just beautiful. The attention to detail, I'm so impressed. Oh, and that's the moon and the stars. <sighs> this is so like whimsical and kind of calming in a way, which is exactly what I need right now. Oh goodness. Look at that. Oh, and it says Washington. How did she know? I mean, well, cause she had my address, duh. but anyways, beautiful. Oh, look at these pretty leaves. Oh, the cute little bumblebees. I love a little chubby bumblebee. Oh, so I don't know if you guys knew this, but the like, Latin word for bee or something like that is like bombus. I don't know if that's actually how you pronounce it. Um, but growing up, I remember we had a book that was called like Bombus the Bumblebee. And it was a really, really cute story. Um, I do recommend like looking it up as like a little storybook for the kids. If you have kids, because it has a really cute little message about like being yourself. Um, yeah, because he's like a big, he's like a little fat chubby bumblebee in with the honeybees who are like not little fat chubby bumblebees, you know? And as a fat chubby kid, I related to this story. <laughs> it was a good one. Oh my gosh, look at these gorgeous die cut flowers. Oh my gosh, these are so pretty. Oh, and they're all done with the sewing machine. This is so pretty. Oh my goodness. Oh, you know what? I recognize this paper. This is from the Echo Park New Day collection. I don't think all of this is, or is it? Actually, maybe it is, because I think I had showed you guys the New Day collection. Um, I think I hauled it. I had gotten it in my Echo Park like club EP, but I didn't use it very much. I think I made like one Happy Mail with it or something like that. And then, you know, <sighs> that came in like May or something. And like I said, it, 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 the summer flew by and it was a really busy time. Um, so maybe all of these papers are, I mean, obviously not this pretty girl. This was printed or draw. Maybe she drew it. Do you think? Oh my God. I can't even imagine. Um, but this, this could be the bows could be, I don't know. Gorgeous. Oh, so pretty. Oh, I guess I didn't show you that. Did I pretty little paper clip? And then what do we have here? That's gorgeous. Gorgeous rose gold foil. Oh, beautiful. And I think this is a letter. Okay, now I'll tell you who her freaking name is. <gasps> Emma? 
Yes. Oh my gosh. Yes. Okay. I'm going to read this in more detail later. Uh, oh my God. She totally read my profile. Cause like this is some coffee themed shenanigan and I love coffee. Oh, this is so special. Oh my gosh. I feel so loved. This is so special. Oh my God. Oh my gosh, look at these cafe stickers. I love coffee. Oh my goodness. Emma, thank you so much. Oh my lord. This is so beautiful. So delicate. So gorgeous. Let me make sure there was nothing else tucked away in this beautiful pocket. Okay, no. Beautiful. Okay, now I have to tell her that I received it. What was this? Something dimensional just to keep it. Oh, that was the magnet. Duh. Ugh. Oh. I just want to keep staring at it. So pretty. Okay, no, I should move on to the next. We're going to lose light and like time. <sighs> but I'm also, that's another thing that like, let's not rush. You know what I mean? I don't need to rush. I, don't, I, can, I can take my time. But we are going to lose light. So let's move on. This was incredible. <sighs> I also like that she used the whole length of the 12 by 12 paper. Like I don't usually do that. I almost always cut it down or fold it in some way, which is which is also perfectly fine, but it's kind of refreshing to see like a whole 12 by 12 paper used. You know what I mean? That's nice. On the bow, oh my gosh. Gorgeous. So I would say, heck yeah, this was totally the flower swap. There were lots of flower elements in here. Ugh, so beautiful. Oh, you know what? I bet the tea, because I didn't even realize this was a pocket. So the tea had kind of fallen out, but like I bet the tea was totally meant to be tucked in there for sure. Okay, move that to the side. Uh, you know what? Actually, I was going to show you this, but while we're on like Happy Mail or Swap Central, I do not want to show my address, which is on the front of this box. But I do need to show you the box because, oh my God, look at this. There was also a Halloween swap that I was a part of from the Happy Mailers group. And look at this. Oh my God, wait a minute. Is this, is this the same Emma? No. Okay, I'm gonna have to investigate this. Or were they just both named Emma? This is gorgeous too, so I wouldn't be surprised if it's the same crafty hand. Incredible, oh my God, if it is, how, how, what am I supposed to send to this lady in return? Oh my God, because this is so cute. Look at this. Those who don't believe in magic will never find it. I freaking love this. So yeah, this was a Halloween swap and we got to pick if it was like, um, like spooky or like cutesy or it, it didn't really matter, but you got to pick. Um, you know, if you wanted it like the pinky kind of thing. Oh my, this is the little broom. Oh, look at this. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Look at this. I'm gonna just go fluff it out a little bit. This is so cute. Oh my gosh. Look at how cute. Oh, with a little skeleton. That's just darling. Hello, spooky darling. Here is a little mail to wish you a happy spooky season. I hope you enjoy all the little bits and bobs. Feel free to pull apart and reuse everything. Love, Emma, from the Happy Mailers. Oh my gosh, I'm not just toxic right there. Look at all those adorable confetti. And look at these toxic waste candies. Hilarious. Witch, please. This is totally a shaker. This particular swap um, was supposed to include, like, embellishments. The floral one was just, like, flower-themed, and I... Yeah, I think it was just generally flower themed. Um, but this one specifically, you did have to include embellishments that then like the receiver could use. So like, that's why this is like a, like a shaker that I could then use. Anyways, and it also did have to include candy. Totally. I, I don't remember. Everything. Yeah, candy, embellishment, that might've been it. And a letter, of course. Um, oh my gosh. Look at this! These little ghosts. I'm totally going to reuse this confetti because this is so cute. And what is this? Jack Black. What is this? Is it gum? If it's licorice flavored, it's going to AJ because I actually don't like licorice. Oh, man. Uh, da, 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 don't, I don't, let's just, let's have one. Let's do it. Oh, no. Okay, it's black. Oh no, I'm afraid that it's licorice. Oh no. Do you think it's licorice? It's probably licorice. Those fucking Brits, I saw that it's from the UK. Oh no, I smelt it, it's licorice. Thank you so much, sweetie. <laughs> I'm giving this to AJ, he likes licorice. I'm gonna give that to him. So sorry. <laughs> My dad likes it too. He, maybe when he comes for a visit, I'll give one, him one as well. <laughs> 
cute. <gasps> Look at this. Witch, please. Oh, I love these cute little um, spidey die cuts. What are these called? Oh my God. I don't have the words. Whatever. You know what I mean? Spiders. <gasps> Look at this belly band situation. Oh, everything is like crisply cut. And oh, yes. <gasps> Project Sparkle. Okay, I wonder if she has her own shop. Maybe that's why everything is like crisp and wonderful. Boo to you from Project Sparkle. Cute. Oh my gosh. Again, is there a magnet? No, there's not. That's fine. So cute. Look at this. Yeah, Project Sparkle. Look her up, you guys, at Project Sparkle. Cute. And again, with the sewing machine bits. Freaking love it. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Fright this way with a little wolf. And they're coffee cups because yeah, girl loves coffee. And this is totally like a, like this can come off and I could take these out if I wanted to. And she used like little dimensional, um, dimensional glue or you know what I mean? Dimensional, what do we call this stuff? <laughs> dimensional stuff there. Cute to make a shaker. Is this from Shaun of the Dead? It totally is, isn't it? I actually, I'm not, I don't. We're just gonna leave it at that. Witch's Brew, super cute. I mean, a little tuck pocket there. This is just darling. Oh my goodness, Emma, Emma, Emma. You did so good, girl. This is just so cute. So I had opened the box and just took like a quick, just like I looked at it and then I was like, no. And I closed it because I wanted to open it on video. Oh, so darling. Oh my gosh. Oh, oops. So cute. Thank you so much, Emma. Okay, don't close the box on camera because the address is on the front. I almost did. All right. And then I have a little envelope here, which I actually can't really show you because the back has her address and the okay, the front has mine, but I will go ahead and just cover this because um she did have some cute, you know, fall themed stuff. This was just like a simple um uh ba -da -ba -ba. it was just like a simple swap in another group, and it was just to send um, some like autumn themed sheets. So this might just be sheets. Like she didn't have to actually like craft a happy nail. Um, I did in the one that I sent her, but she didn't have to, or like, it wasn't a requirement. So like there's, it's totally not a big deal if she didn't, like it wasn't a requirement. I just did because I fucking love to. Um, but let's see. Yeah. She just put some sheets in a, in an envelope, which is, that's exactly what was required of us cute oh my gosh okay this has the note on it cute her name is leonie yes which i was a tad late getting mine sent off but i'm you know it'll be okay oh, i sent it like the very first of october and it was supposed to be sent before the end of september oh cute these are little dimensional guys love it and some cute leaves, stickers, and some cute little little squirrels. We were supposed to be sending three sheets of stickers in an envelope, so ta-da. And it looks like she sent these as well. Cute, cute, cute. Oh my goodness, I love it. Okay. I love the little kitties. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, I haven't told you guys yet. We actually did just get a cat. Um, on Monday, today is Saturday. We got a cat Monday. <sighs> I love him. I'll tell you guys more about it in another video. I'm sure. And maybe I'll even show him at some point. Not, he hasn't come outside. Um, and like, we don't really anticipate him coming outside. Um, at least not yet. Like we live kind of close to a busy street. So that would, you know what I mean? Like I would never want anything tragic to happen. Um, so he's mostly going to be an indoor boy. Um, but oh my God, I love him. He's incredible. I'm so happy we were able to give him home. Um, cause he'd been like being fostered by a coworker of ours for like a while, I think like two years or something, or since he had been a kitten maybe, and he's three, um, and they have dogs. So, um, he'd been living in the garage, like with his other brothers and sisters and such. And like, he's a boy that just loves love. You know what I mean? So I'm so happy that we were able to give him a home. Um, he's so happy here already. You know what I mean? So this is from one of my very good pen pals, Emily. I recognize this sticker actually because I had sent it to her. So like, I think that's really sweet. Um, and 
oh my god i love emily she sends really gorgeous things um like not always sometimes we just send letters but we have been like having a lot of fun sending really beautiful um flip books and things to each other lately and yeah like she just did a really cute job with this envelope this time so i wanted to show you that um oh my gosh i love this i do recognize this collection this is the cartabella like gather yeah cartabella gather or gather at home i'm pretty sure that's the name of the collection um and then i think she had like a couple other elements and things but look at this gorgeous flip book oh my god and like <sighs> this. oh my gosh okay oh dang and i recognize this washi I think I sent her a sample of it, or maybe she got it herself. It's from Craft Consortium. I recognize it. Um, yeah, I think maybe I had sent her some of it. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Let's grow stronger together. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is the letter. Love it. Okay. Oh, and I recognize that wax deal. I sent that to her. Oh my gosh, I feel special. She's like using the beautiful things I send. Okay, well, we'll open that in a minute because I just want to see what everything is. We have to turn the next page. Is this a pocket? Oh, 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 it just, it flips open. Okay. Oh shit. Oh, oh, okay. I don't need therapy. I talk to my plants. I love that. <laughs> Cute. Oh, oh my gosh. And I bet she drew this or painted, like drew and painted this because she does do artwork. Oh my gosh, this is my happy place. I love it. Oh, this is so beautiful. Oh my gosh. And the piece of paper that she picked is just so pretty. I love these floors. I love Cartabella paper. Like Cartabella paper and Cartabella like styling. It's always so beautiful. Oh my gosh. Okay, now let's open up this little envelope. I kind of just don't want to, I don't want to rip it. Why, why did you glue it so good, Emily? Why would you do this? Okay. Ugh. Come on, she taped it. That's what she did. She doubled that and taped it. There we go. Okay, cute. Stickers. Respect your mother. Damn right. I mean, it's talking about Mother Earth. Damn right. Good vibes only. Cute. Looks like cotton candy, but also ice cream. Oh, it's a bearded dragon. I had a friend that had one of those. <laughs> Crystals. Oh my gosh. Actually, I have a friend that would love this sticker. I have another pen pal that would love this sticker and I'm totally going to pass this on to her. And actually she lives in Australia, which, um, is like a, uh, maybe this is silly, but like to me, I've never been to Australia. That's why I'm like hedging a little bit, but never having been there, Australia is like a dry place, right? It's like deserty. And like, this gives me like deserty vibes. So like, this seems like the perfect sticker to send to someone who lives in Australia no tell me beck you watch my videos does this give off australia vibes this is like this is like cactusy and i don't know whatever <laughs> adventure is out there but then again so are bugs oh my god i fucking hate bugs true although i did um read something earlier today because okay actually i'm reading a book called rooted by fucking can't remember the name. I can put it in the description if you want, if anybody's interested. I'm actually really enjoying it. It's written by a gal who is from the Pacific Northwest, which I love. I didn't actually know that until I started reading the book and then she mentions it. Um, but there was a line in there that was something about like, when you walk through the forest, like you have to pay, um, you have to pay the mosquitoes like in your blood kind of a thing. Like it, it, that sounds kind of silly when I say it, but it was like, it was kind of like a, a moment of like, oh wow, like, that kind of, you know what I mean? Like you have to, you have to, you have to do your, do your diligence. Like you can't just go tromping through the forest. You gotta, you gotta pay your dues. And like, sometimes it's paying the mosquitoes. Adventure and bugs. You gotta pay the bugs, man. They gotta live too. I hate people. Oh my God. I mean, yeah. <laughs> cows oh my gosh okay I wonder if she talks about cows in her letter because like we we did have a discussion about cows previously um because she kind of lives on a farm and like we did talk about like happy cows at one point so like I wonder if she talks about cows in this letter <laughs> anyways uh, buy me plants and tell me I'm pretty word be kind oh just some pretty papers pretty square papers maybe I'll make like some tiny little envelopes with these Ooh, they have pretty pa uh, patterns on the back Oh my God, five-year plan. And then they'll all be sorry. Girl, interesting that you sent this because I, I'm trying to figure it out. 
Oh, look, more cows. Okay. I bet she does. I bet she does talk about cows in that letter. All right. All right. Okay. That is it for the happy mails that my pen pals have sent me. And then since we do, is there like, how does the video look? Let me stand up. Oh yeah. I think there's still some light. Like, I think it looks decent. Um, I think I am going to go ahead. Oh my God. Could you even fucking see like what was happening? Oh my God. I fucking so. Um, I think I am going to go ahead and film a little unboxing of, um, Coco and Daisy. Cause I did get that today as well. So, okay. Well, thanks for watching. If you guys had any questions on anything, let me know, leave me a little comment and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.